The history of cloud computing. Cloud computing was first used by a scientist called Ramanith Kilba at lecture in 1997. Based on utility computing, Amazon Web Services launched in 2006. In 2007, Google and IPM, in addition to a number of universities, started a research project on cloud computing. Hello everyone, we will talk today about cloud computing and its types, its characteristics, its pros and cons, and etc. Firstly, we will discuss in the types of cloud computing. There are three main types. One, software as a service, SaaS, which is used for web-based applications. It's a method for delivering software applications over the internet where cloud providers also manage the software applications, making it easier to have the same application on all of your device at once while accessing it in the cloud. Two, infrastructure as a service, IS which is used for internet-based access to storage and to computing power. It's the most basic category of cloud computing types. IS lets you rent infrastructure service and in virtual machines, storage, network, and operating system from a cloud provider on pay-as-you-go basic. 3. Platform as a service, PaaS, that gives developers the tools to build and host web application. PaaS is a design to give users access to components they require to quickly develop and operate web or mobile application over the internet without worrying about setting up or managing the underlying infrastructure of services, storage, network, and databases. Secondly, we'll be discussing the characteristics of cloud computing according to the National Institute of Standards or Technology. All true cloud environments have five keys of characteristics. On-demand self-service cloud customers can quickly sign up and pay for start using cloud resources on their own without help from sales agents. Cloud network access. Customers can access cloud service via internet. Now we will discussing the advantage of cloud computing. 1. Easy implementation. Cloud computing allows business to retain the same applications and business process without having to deal with the big technologies. 2. Accessibility. Access your data anywhere and anytime. And internet cloud infrastructure maximizes enterprise productivity and efficiency by answering your application is always accessible, which allows for easy collaboration and sharing among users in multiple locations. 4. Cost overhead. Overhead technology costs are kept at minimum with cloud hosting services, enabling business to use extra time and resources for improving the company infrastructure. 5. Efficient recovery. It delivers faster and more accurate retrievals of application and data with less downtimes. It is the most efficient recovery. The disadvantages of cloud computing. Number one, you're no longer in control. When moving servers to the cloud, you are handing over your data and information. Number two, it may not get all the features. Not all cloud servers are the same. Some cloud providers tend to offer limited versions and enable the most popular features only. So you may not receive every feature you want. Number three, it doesn't mean you should do away with the servers. You may have fewer servers to handle, which means less for IT staff to handle. But that doesn't mean you can't let go of all your servers and staff. Number four, no redundancy. A cloud server is not redundant. It's backed up. As the technology may fail here and there, avoid getting burned by purchasing a redundancy plan. Although it's an extra cost, in most cases it will be worth it. Number five, a bandwidth issue. For ideal performance, clients have to plan accordingly and not pack large amounts of servers and storage devices into a small set of data centers. In the last thing we will discussing the examples of cloud computing. Amazon EC2 like Virtual IT, Google Apps and Microsoft Office Online like SaaS, Apple iCloud like Network Storage, Digital Ocean Servers like Airsampers. Some providers offer cloud computing services for free while others require a paid subscription.